Playing as the villain can often lead to unique interactions within a game's narrative. Whether it be the careless attitude of the anti-hero protag or the act first ask questions later mission structure, I find the setup to be fun and interesting. In that same breath, if I can just switch gears for a second, I love the Shadowheart series, and the spiritual successor, Pennyblood, currently has a roguelike spin-off in early access called Pennyblood Hellbound. In this adventure, you experience a narrative that takes place before the events of Pennyblood through the lens of six very troubled individuals as they fight their way through a hellish prison. A prison, I should add, that they do belong in. Pennyblood Hellbound opens with a girl named Clara who finds herself in a strange place, and then she's quickly attacked by demon dogs. However, she's saved by a group known as the Hellhounders, who are essentially terrorists that only do things for their benefit, which involves a quest for a powerful material known as Malice. Anyway, looks aside, they are rather powerful characters, save for Vito, who is so insignificant to the group that he didn't even get his own illustration. Regardless, they're currently your only friends in this strange place. Still, there's a path to salvation, but only if you follow the orders of a group known as the Celestial Rainbow, who wish to cleanse the members of their sins by putting them through a series of trials. With that in mind, the short time I had with the early moments led to the introduction of several NPCs who will fill your base of operations and act as a means of power-ups and customization. I should say that the difficulty is pretty high for this vertical slice of the experience, but I believe that's by design given that every death usually leads to a new action or area of the base unlock. Still, it was annoying to die in two hits, and I couldn't figure out the resurrection feature, but I do know it's possible because skills talk about it. Anyway, each run you select two characters and try to find your way through hell. The dungeons resemble a game board where you can choose your path forward towards the objective. This allows you to navigate the board and pick when you want to fight or look for money, skills, or abilities. Further, there are areas where you can help NPCs who will join up with your crew if you're successful. Yes, this game is a roguelike, and I generally don't mind dying and restarting, but the artificial difficulty in these early areas forces you to continuously die early on if only to unlock needed abilities such as a Blood Surf Dodd or customization options. I'm not too worried about this because the developers have already lined up a roadmap of what they intend to add and even saved room for addressing player feedback. Things like voiceover, new areas, new facilities, and new bosses are all in the pipeline alongside online multiplayer systems, which leads to my biggest issue with the action gameplay. Each character has their own preferred attack style, but honestly, Dr. Eugene's attack is pretty broken right now. You're able to stunlock enemies and even push them back with a charge blast that allows them to stay out of danger most of the time. On the other hand, characters like Clara use melee swords, forcing them to get close to enemies. During each run, you can bring two characters into the dungeon with you, but the AI assistant is a hit or miss. I noticed sometimes they wouldn't even help, so I wouldn't really rely on them too much. The general action game flow is cathartic and challenging for the most part. You don't spend too much time in the areas, but they do feature unique gimmicks and layouts that make return visits easier to get through. The boss battles are incredibly fun with multiple forms and attacks that telegraph their trajectory, giving you a chance to dodge out of the way. I'm eager to follow the development of Pennyblood Hellbound, as it sets the stage for the universe of the main Pennyblood adventure, which doesn't currently have a release date. Still, game creator Matsuzo Machida tailored this experience with art by Miyoko Kato and music from Yoshitaka Hirota and Noriyuki Iwata. So do I need to say more? There's a lot to look forward to in this clever little roguelike, and while I'm not sure these villains will ever truly be redeemed, they have enough personality to see this adventure through. Pennyblood Hellbound has a release window set for summer 2024. Thanks for watching. This video is brought to you by our supporters on Patreon. Noisy Pixels is run by a group of gamers providing independent gaming coverage through news, reviews, previews, and more. Check out our Patreon to help support our continued growth and subscribe to keep up with all our future content. Mo 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 m
Noisy pixel.